Hey, fire signs. Happy April. I can't believe it's already April. Where did March go? So we're going to get started with your reading. First, it's going to be um, a very general reading, and then I'll break it down into the fire signs. So let's get a general message for fire signs for the month of April. Interesting. It seems like, oh, this one wanted to come out too. It seems like there's going to be some conflict in April. Um, and this conflict is kind of like your own inner conflict. Things are going to be happening. New beginnings, new opportunities are coming your way, but you're not going to be able to understand how or why. It's almost like you're looking at the past and you're like, wait, what? Like this is actually happening, but, but like a few months ago we did this and then it didn't work out and now like you're telling me you love me type of thing, right? It's very confusing um, and it's almost like you are talking to your spirit team here or you're talking to your friends and you're all like, what the heck? How did this happen? Like it just came out of nowhere um, and that's because it's time for these new beginnings, these new opportunities to be harvested into your life. Divine timing is now in your corner and it's going to be blessing you like it's blessing upon blessing like that's what coming that's coming for you in April and with the strength card here this could be Leo specific but I love it because the tornado represents this abundance this clarity coming your way and it's going to hit you and you're not going to see it coming at all because here you are in your own power in the strength card and you're excited because you tamed your beast you tamed your ego and you're focusing on yourself, um, like self-care, your abilities, your happiness, your family, whatever the case may be. And you're so proud of yourself and like, I'm proud for you. Like you've done it. You did it. The hard part is over. And now when you think you have a vacation and you can take a break from all the signs and synchronicities from your um, divine counterpart or your spirit babies, that's when it's going to hit you and you're going to be caught up in that storm and be like, what the heck? You go back to the five of wands. How did this happen? I didn't see it coming. Well, you weren't supposed to see it coming. So what else? Six of pentacles for April. It's a lot of balance. It's a lot of reciprocity coming your way. Um, also recognition. So if you've been waiting to hear back from a job or if you've wanted to receive the credit that you deserved for a project or whatever the case is, it's coming. It may not come in the way you expect it to, but it is coming. What else for fire signs in April? Still can't believe it's April. Three of Wands, it's time to reap your rewards. And the Six of Wands, this is the success card and having the two sixes together that's really great that means that um <laughs> if you heard that noise I don't know if you can pick it up but that was my dog stretching because he's taking a nap um but with the sixes here it's a lot of balance it's a lot of abundance and new beginnings with this ace of wands something big is coming your way fire signs and this is exactly what you need to be creative again and just express yourself the way you've never expressed yourself before. Um, this could be in regards to feelings and love, but it's also work related too. If you wanted to be an artist, a performer, singer, whatever it is, April is when you're going to have that chance. So that's really exciting. And I just love that the overall message is abundance and reaping your rewards with the seven of pentacles three of wands and ace of wands plus this, the success and recognition here that's amazing so let's see if there's another message there might be one more in general and then we'll move on to love messages but in general for fire signs <laughs> the page of pentacles is always this like cheeky little bugger um because he's telling you that Hey, good things are coming your way. They're coming to you in 3D, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to wait and see, but trust me, it's coming and it's going to be good. He's like the ultimate tease. Um, and you also have the sun at the bottom of the deck. So yes, good things are coming. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of success, joy, excitement, 
in this overall reading. So April is going to be a good month for you, fire signs. It's definitely going to be a good month for you. And don't let this COVID-19 bring you down. Um, it doesn't matter if it's still going to be here in April or not. You're still going to be able to get all of that abundance. If it's meant for you, it's coming. So don't worry about it. So let's go love. We're going to start with Aries. Aries is give your relationship a chance. Let's get some clarity on this. Let's see. Wow. The Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups jump together. Aries, this is just so beautiful, Aries. Um, there's a lot to celebrate in your love life. And even though things may not have happened the way that you wanted them to, or the way that you expected them to, you have to remember to give your relationship a chance. Your partner wants to surprise you. They're going to come in and surprise you. And, and like I said earlier with the strength card, you're not going to see that tornado hit you because you're not supposed to. But know that there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of love and abundance, a new romantic beginning. So for some of you Aries, a new relationship is about to start. For others, um, you're going to get a second chance at that relationship that you've been thinking about or with that romantic partner. What else? And it's coming. It is definitely coming. You may think it's coming a little too slowly because you're an Aries. You're all about like, go, go, go. You want to receive. Um, you want to take action. And it is happening. It is happening. Your partner is coming forward. They may not be coming as quickly as you want, though, because they don't have that same energy as you do. And remember, this is your season still. I mean, it's still airy season until mid-April. So that's why you're feeling super excited and you just want to receive because it's like your birthday season, right? Um, and your partner's like, I'm coming. Just give me a chance. I'm coming. So what else? What about this partner? Let's see if we can get something on your partner. Oh, I love this. The Seven of Cups, your partner has chosen love. Do you see how she's reaching for that cup of love? She can choose anything else she wants, but she's choosing love. So know that it's here for you, Aries. It's time for you to reap your rewards and receive this amazing love life, this new love or this reoccurring love. It's coming. It's yours. You just got to have faith. Bottom of the deck is a star. As above, so below. It's finally manifesting for you, Aries. Just relish in this beautiful happiness and this new beginning coming your way. So that was Aries love. Let's move on to Leo love. Let's get a card for Leo. Reconciliation. That's amazing. That's so exciting, Leo. Let's see what else. So your partners are definitely coming back, coming together in reunion. There we go. Interesting. It's almost as if you're being called to look the full flip. That's a new beginning. It's almost like you're being called to relax and rest. Um, and that's not to say that your, your reunion isn't coming in April because it may be, it really depends on your own situation. Remember this is a general reading, but spirit is telling you to let it go like to release it from your mind don't try to control it um it'll happen in divine timing but you're also not meant to see it happening it's almost like one day you're gonna wake up and it's gonna happen it's gonna be there and you're gonna be like how did this happen yeah like the tower moment you're gonna be like what the hell how when did this happen when did this person come back into my life and it's actually pretty funny because you're not involved in this planning stage, but your partner is in the Page of Cups energy and and they're planning. They they know what they want to say. Like I said earlier, they, they know what they want to say. Um, they want to come into your life in a very romantic and authentic way. So that's why they're planning in, behind the scenes and you can't sense that. It's almost like you're a sleeping beauty here. You're snow white encased in, is it an ice? I'm not too sure. But she's 
sleeping, right? And then her Prince Charming comes and gives her a kiss and wakes her up. And that's kind of the energy here too, is one day you're going to wake up and almost as if um, the universe has kissed you and you're sleeping beauty, you wake up, you see your prince and it's a happily ever after for this chapter. Let's get another card. Let's see if this is um, April specific. I was going to say Aries specific just now. So for some of you, this may happen during Aries season. You're going to receive some sort of clarity or communication from your partner. And look at that, the Six of Cups, the reunion card. It is definitely happening. Um, for some of you who have spirit babies, know that your spirit babies are helping bring you together. They're just guiding your partner to you, kind of gently push like pulling them by the hand um almost reassuring your partner saying hey it's time to reunite with my other parent it's time to get the show on the road um and they have a very nurturing energy towards your partner because they are ready they know they're ready they're just nervous but for others of you who don't have spirit babies or don't resonate with spirit babies just know that your spirit team is helping your partner they're guiding your partner to you as well and at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon in reverse. That means clarity is definitely coming. You also have the tower here. So there is a lot of clarity, a lot of aha moments coming your way. With the four of swords here, meditation may be really beneficial to you right now. Um, connecting to your guides, reconnecting to your spirituality, your abilities, that's recommended. But also just catching up on your sleep because once your partner returns, you're not going to have much time to rest. It's going to be fun in the sun, um, a lot of happiness, going out, enjoying each other's company. So rest while you can, Leo. And you know, the Leo card came up earlier too, um, the strength card, and I said that it's a tornado. So for Leo specifically, you may be hit really hard with all this clarity and, and all these surprises. So the last fire sign, Sagittarius, let's see your love life. This one wanted to jump. Two cards for Sagittarius, someone is special. Flirt, finances, and career. Very interesting, these messages. So let's start with flirt. So Sagittarius, it's time for you to approach your partner. Or if your partner is a Sagittarius, they're going to approach you. They're ready to flirt. They're ready to get the show on the road. Like, look at this Wheel of Fortune. They're like, hello, knock, knock, it's me. Open the door, let's go party. Like, they are here for it. Um, even though they may not give you that energy, they may be a little bit more reserved and shy. But let's see why that may be. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, because they're very secretive. That's what it is. Um, that's why they have that, like, not shyness, but they're just quiet. And you're like, you're a Sagittarius. Why are you so quiet? Like, what's going on? You're like the party people. Let's go. Um, and they're being quiet because they have, like, the best surprise in store for you. They also want you to know that a cycle has ended. So for you Sagittarius watching... There has been a cycle that's come full circle, it's completed, and these surprises are now coming your way. You're about to receive all this abundance, and it's coming in very unique ways. Your person is trying to get your attention. Um, they may be very in your face, almost like, hey, I like you, let's go out type of thing. Like They are not shy at all. And just know that Sagittarius, you're going to have a lot of flirting. You're going to have a lot of fun with your romantic partner. Let's go finances and career. Okay. The star for fan finances and career. Um, things are working out work-wise. You're either going to get a new job. Um, and I know this is the love reading for Sagittarius, but it feels like having your finances in check is going to really help because you want to, there's like a masculine energy here. So you either want to be in your divine masculine energy or your partner is, but the Sagittarius in question really wants to step up and 
provide for the romantic partner. They want to be able to take you out on that, on the dates and, um, they just want to take that action and they want to be able to be able to back it up fully with their, with their pockets, like their money. Like they don't want to say, oh, hey, I like you. Let's go on a date and then not be able to treat you. And I know it's not a big thing because there's a lot of reci reciprocity and you can take turns paying for each other. But if this is your first date in particular, the Sagittarius really wants to step up and be the one who provides for this. They want to make that good impression. That's the, that's the feeling I get here because they know like Sagittarius, you know that you can be very fun and flirtatious, but you also want to come off as stable as well because you want this relationship to last and it is going to last. Like your person is going to be over the moon that you've made this arrangement that you've, um, spoken to them and opened up to them. So they don't really care. Your person, Sagittarius, doesn't really care if you can provide for them or not. They just want your company. They want to get to know you and spend time with you. Yeah, there's a lot of balance here between you and your person. So you don't have to go above and beyond to impress them because you can't impress someone that's already in love with you, if that makes sense. Let's get another message for Sagittarius. The fool, it's time for you to take that leap of faith, Sagittarius. If you have someone in mind that you really connect with and you want this relationship with, go ahead and message them. Um, of course, make sure you're feeling guided too. Trust your intuition, listen to your intuition. But you have the green light from the universe to reach out to this person because this new beginning is yours. It's time for you to harvest it. Um, even the Wheel of Fortune, it's turning in your favor. Like, It's time for you to get these rewards. You've worked so hard. I mean, you've completed the cycle. Like that's amazing, Sagittarius. And even though you may want to be financially secure before you take this person out or you start this relationship, just know that you're not alone in this partnership. It takes two to tango, right? So know that your partner is going to be there whether you can take them out or not. Um, you don't even have to do anything super expensive. Just go to the park on a nice date. I mean, you can't do that now with quarantine, but hopefully by mid to end April, we can go out and have fun again. Um, so just know that this person wants to spend as much time with you as you do with them, Sagittarius. You also have the hangman here, and this is the perfect card for you because you feel like you're stuck and that you can't, you just can't escape because you want to talk to this person, something's holding you back, um... But at the same time, you're like, no, I deserve, lo I deserve love. I deserve this person. And you want to show them how much you love them, but you can't at the moment. So you're kind of stuck at a crossroads. And the hangman is telling you that you're actually not stuck. You have the key. If you look at the card here, you have the key right there in your hands. You can unlock yourself and be free whenever you want to be free. These are just ex excuses that you're telling yourself. Um... I can't talk to the person I like because we're all in quarantine and we're not going to be able to go on a date. Like, who cares? If you just want to talk to the person and start to build that relationship, build that connection, then talk to the person. So there's a lot for you to think about, Sagittarius. But overall, your reading is really good. Just remember that your person already loves you and wants you to take that leap of faith forward. Where is it? Right here. The Fool. You know, just do it. Just reach out to your person because then you're going to feel a lot better about yourself as well. You're going to feel victorious and like, oh, it's so happy. Like I did it. I finally did it. I, I want to do it for so long and I did it. And you're going to be surprised with your person's answer and know that your wishes are coming true. This person may be your wish and you are definitely this person's wish. So let's get a closing message for fire signs. Close a message. The King of Cups. A lot of emotions for the fire signs. Um, a lot of preparation as well. Like the King of Cups knows what he wants to say. He's just waiting for the divine moment to step forward and tell this person what they want. Um, but at the same time, he's the King of Cups is a little emotional 
and they're overthinking like, okay, I know what I want to say, but how should I say it in this way? No, no, no. That comes off a little wrong. Okay. Well, how about this way? No, it's too strong. Like, I don't that your person wants you t- to receive them, but not think that they're trying too hard. Um, or it could be you as well. You want to reach out to your person and you're ready to share your feelings with them, but you don't know how to do it because you don't want to scare your person off or there's just a lot of overthinking here for the fire signs when it comes to um, their next steps in love and in life. For those of you who are waiting to hear back from a job, you're overthinking it because you haven't heard back yet, but know that what's for you won't pass you by. And look at that, the Ten of Pentacles is the family card. It's also the successful business partner card. So again, if you are waiting to hear back from a job, Um, or if you're worried that your job isn't secure at this time, know that something better is on the way for you and you are abundant and it's time to harvest that abundance. And when it comes to love, this is the family card. Just know that it's going to be a very successful relationship between you and your partner. We also have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. This is the abundance card. Also the pregnancy card for those of you who want to conceive or are trying to conceive, know that it is coming. Um, many blessings are coming your way in April and the Empress reminds me of mother nature for the moment, which doesn't usually happen. So it just feels like mother nature is ready to birth something new into, um, our lives, into the universe, or it could be the universe itself is ready to birth something new for fire signs in April. So that was the fire sign reading for April. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.